Jacobs, Jacobs Chiropractic Acupuncture Center in Portland, Maine, where I specialize and have for over 20 years in the health, well-being, and biomechanics of musical athletes, of musicians of all calibers, from local guys who just pluck around on the guitar to bands that have been on tour for decades. What I want to talk about today is Phil Collins. Phil Collins, for over 50 years, played drums, among other things. And most recently, he has had to retire due to spinal injury. Spinal injury that came from drumming in his neck. You know, when you're seated on the saddle and playing drums, you're moving a lot. I mean, if, if anybody is a musical athlete, it's a drummer. Um, tons of body movement, compression of the spine all the time when you're seated, and a lot of bouncing around too in those chairs. Movement of the legs, hitting the base, all of those things add up to structural imbalances, compression, and wear and tear. And when your bones start crumbling like those of the neck of Phil Collins, you know, all of the nerves that control everything in your body from reflexes to timing, to the ability to move your arms where they need to go to be able to play, all of that stuff starts to break down in addition to these nerves that, coming, that are coming out of the spine being compressed and really hurting. So pain can stop you, mobility can stop you, poor reflexes and movement can stop you from continuing to play. So what do you need to do to not end up like Phil Collins with a neck injury and essentially what's been described as a crumbling of the vertebra in his neck to the point where he can't lift his drumsticks without severe pain. What do you do to prevent that? Well, you maintain mobility through exercise, through things like chiropractic care, so that those bones and joints of the neck do not become restricted and overly compressed. Cervical decompression, where your neck is decompressed, will help to keep things mobile and not scrunched down on each other. In the low back, it could just as easily happen down there from sitting you know, on a stool or in a saddle and playing all day long, <clears throat> bouncing around. That compression could do the same thing to the low back. So stretching, decompression, and mobility exercises. And most of all, the thing that's overlooked the most with musicians of all types is strength. You have to treat, if your plan is to play forever, you have to treat your body as if you were an athlete. And an athlete, depending on how much you play and how you play and where you play, either an athlete that is an amateur or an athlete that's going to the Olympics. You've got to remain stable and strong and open in the joints of the spine if you don't want to end up injured. If you're a drummer and you are worried about ending up like Mr. Collins. Prevention is the best medicine, and prevention not only helps to prevent injuries, but it also helps you to be stronger so that you can play better now. Keep your core strong, keep your shoulders back, keep your upper back, neck, all toned and strong. That is a solid beginning to preventing serious injury. I'm Dr. Lou Jacobs, Rock Doc in Portland, Maine, servicing musicians at all levels, all from all over the world, and I'm here to help you too.